Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in KVPY 2018 SX part 2 physics paper. The question is very very simple from the topic of linear motion or motion in one dimension. Basically, I'll quickly tell you the data what is happening over here. This is a particle which starts from rest and whose force versus time graph is given to us. So par particle will move in a straight line. Uh, it is also given that force is proportional to time key power n. Uh, force you can see is plotted on the y axis time is plotted on the x-axis. It's also given that at t equals to 3 seconds the speed of the particle is 2 meter per second and we have to find the speed at 4, four seconds. Right? So this is the data. So I'll quickly repeat. Particle starts from rest, uh, moves in a straight line, force versus time graph is given to us. Force is also proportional to time key power n at t equals to 3 seconds, speed is 2 meter per second. We have to find the speed at 4 seconds. Correct? So First of all, we can assume that force function is some constant k into time key power n, right? Now, if you see on the y-axis, uh, between two successive numbers on the y-axis, like 0 and 10, 10 and 20, 20 and 30, there are five equal divisions. Like one, this is one division, second division, third division, fourth division, five division. So one, two, three, four, five. That means one division correspond to two newtons, okay? Now, we can choose two convenient points. So one point is this, whose time coordinate is 2 and force coordinate will also be 2, right? And 3 is somewhere in the middle, so we will avoid that. 4 is again a nice point for us. So here the time coordinate is 4 and uh, if you see the force coordinate, so this is 10, this is 10 and 1 division, 2 division, 3 divisions. That means it will become 16, right? Now if you use these two values, so we can say that when force was 2, k was k and time was 2. And when force was 16, then k was k and uh, time was 4 to the power n. If you divide the second equation by the first equation, then on the LHS you are going to get 8. 16 by 2 is 8. k will cancel out. 4 by 2 key power n will become 2 key power n. This gives us n equals to 3. And if you put n equals to 3 in any of the equation, then let's put in this here. So 2 upon 8 is 1 by 4. So k becomes 1 by 4. Eventually, with the help of graph, we have found the force function. Hence, we can say that force is nothing but uh, t to the power cube upon 4. This is the force function. right? Now, force can be written as mass into acceleration or you can also use impulse momentum equation uh, which is impulse F, integral fdt equals to change in momentum. So both will give you the same result. So let's write mass into acceleration is equals to this t cube by 4. Acceleration can be written as dv by dt okay, is equals to t cube by 4. And from here, if you see, we can say that m dv is equals to t cube by 4 dt. This is what we get. We can integrate this. At time 0 seconds, the velocity was 0. Let us say at time t, velocity becomes v. So from here, mv will become uh, 1 by 4 will come out, t cube by d, t to the power 4 by 4. Hence, we can say that velocity becomes 1 upon uh, 16m t key power 4. Now it's a very easy question. We can just, let's say the velocity at t equals to 4 seconds is v0. This is the velocity at t equals to 4 seconds. Okay, so uh, this will be is equals to uh, 4 to the power 4 divided by 16m. Similarly, velocity at 3 seconds was 2. That means 2 will be equals to, uh, we can say that uh, 3 to the power 4 divided by 16m. Okay. So from here, we can take the ratio v0 upon 2 will be equals to 4 by 3 to the power 4. You can put this in your calculator. Okay. And you will get this somewhere around 6.3 approximately. Okay. So we can say that what will be the answer? 6.5 will be the closest value and hence we will choose option B as the correct answer. I hope you would have understood a fairly simple question, a regular one. That's it. Thank you.